Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Academy of Internal Audit. So as you know, we are preparing a series called Success Story in which we are inviting the qualified certified fraud examiner, certified internal auditors and certified anti-money laundering specialist. So in the same line today, we have with us Mr. Chinmay De. So just to introduce Chinmay, Chinmay is by qualification, he is a BCom and a Chartered Accountant as well. As far as practical experience is concerned, so he has worked with the V Singhi and Associates and right now posted as consultant with KPMG India. So Chinmay, first of all, many, many congratulations on becoming certified fraud examiner. Thank you so much, sir. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Chinmay. So, Chinmay, how you are feeling after becoming certified fraud examiner? Uh, it was a great feeling, sir. Uh, actually, after after my CA qualification, I joined in the internal audit profile. Then I thought about some courses for speed improvement. Then I found CA is one of them. So, after qualifying that examination, uh, yeah, it's a great uh, experience as well as learning. So, overall feeling was awesome. Okay, right, great. So, Chinmay, how was your overall journey when you were pursuing the CFE certification, when you were sitting in the examination and all? Sir, uh, when I have researched about some certification courses, we find out CFE and uh, from YouTube only, I come across uh, AIA, Auditor of Internal Academies. So, there I found some uh, demo lectures of yourself, then I thought about enrolling uh, AIA. I talked to Sadab ma'am also uh, for some guidance and then I joined AIA and whatever uh, the material provided by you, I think that is adequate and sufficient for the purpose of clearing exam as well as from practical perspective also, it helps a lot uh, in the field of auditing or be it fraud detection for the audit. Obviously, it is not uh, that much practical. If you wanted to swim, you have to go to the water. That is the simple thing. But obviously, it gives a hand-on experience so that you apply those experience into the practical audit field. So, uh, that is the journey, sir. And after taking the classes, I have done all the classes. Then, uh, I have done, uh, after taking the classes, uh, I have done my sales study for at least for each module once. Then I appear for your uh, practice questions and after practice question again I self study the entire four module once then I go for the mock test and finally I uh, register for the exams and uh, I give all the exams in one shot. Okay, that's so that is the moral lesson. Yeah, absolutely. Very nice, very nice and it's very important that yes, you also completed all of the four modules in first shot only, right? Yes, so as you correctly mentioned, you have gone through the video sessions, then you have uh, gone through the uh, book and then you have gone through the practice questions and then finally you have attempted the mock test and then mm, ultimately the day is here when you are a certified product examiner. Yes, so Chinmay, so Chinmay, uh, considering your entire entire story, entire journey to become CFE, if there is any do's and don'ts you would like to share with your fellow CFE aspirants, whosoever is watching this video, that will be useful for them. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Uh, some do's like, first of all, I would recommend consistency. Consistency is very important in the throughout the journey because if you wanted to uh, complete it within a period of, let's say, two, three or four months, then consistency is very much important. At least give 30 to 40 minutes if possible per day. Then you can easily uh, complete it within that span of three, four months if you follow the instruction given by user, but because that is sufficient and adequate. Second, my uh, good would be be attentive throughout your classes because that gives you consistent clarity because in this examination what i have seen almost the concept is same but the question would be something they trick or twitch so if you have the conceptual clarity clearly will track the exam and do the best thing but also be attentive as because you also mark some important question throughout the uh, classes so that also helps sometimes what happened exactly the same question was come in the examination so that really helps and another do is not relating to curriculum but i would always suggest if you uh, give your exam for home always arrange for a you know, alternative internet connection as well because i also stuck in once due to my internet so that is loose and one about don'ts like uh, i would recommend don't rush 
to the questions for answer first read the question properly then only you give the answer even read all the options before choosing the correct option so that is uh do sir absolutely it's very nice sir so you have correctly touched upon two three points like one point which you touched on don't rush for the exam right until unless you are fully prepared for the exam do not try to schedule the exam do not sit into the exam and also when you are sitting in the exam do not rush to complete the questions go through each and every question thoroughly go through all of the all of the options and then decide what is right what is wrong right very important point very important point another point which you touched upon is if you are giving exam from home you should have the proper infrastructure facilities with you beats your laptop beats your camera beats your mic and the very important the power backup and the wifi backup right these two three things are also very very important very nice chin mein so it is very important any other thing you would like to share from the don't per- perspective to the uh, your fellow cfes i think that, that is sufficient but don't uh, be tense try to complete it one shot and if you follow the uh, module that is given by ai i think that is sufficient enough just you need to refer that material to crack the exam 100% and you will also get the conceptual clarity to follow the uh, sessions properly and if you have any doubt you also can attend the sunday session that will also be an added advantage so you can clear the doubts so that's all from uh, my side sir okay very nice very nice thank you so much uh, chinme the point which you have shared are definitely going to be useful for all of the cfe aspirants and i again would like to thank you for joining this uh, this uh, session and sparing your valuable time and again once again many many congratulations on becoming certified fraud examiner thank you so much sir it means a lot right also all the best to all the future cfe aspirants who are watching this uh, Right. Thank you so much. Thank you Chinmay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.